we have a stick of unit length. Two points are chosen at random and independently, meaning each point is equally likely to lie anywhere along the stick, and the choice of one point does not affect where the other is placed. After marking these two points, we break the stick at those positions, creating three pieces. The question is, what is the probability that these three pieces can together form a triangle? You can see that with these three pieces, we can form a triangle, but if the two cuts are like these, then we cannot form a triangle. So, can you solve it? Okay, in order to solve this problem, let us call the left end of the stick as the origin. Then we form the two different cases, where first let x be the length from the origin to the first selected point, and let y be the length from the origin to the second selected point. In the other case, which we will handle later, we will assume y be the length from the origin to the first selected point, and x be the length from the origin to the second selected point. Note that x and y are random variables that can take any value between 0 and 1, since the stick has unit length, right? Now because both points are chosen independently and uniformly, every possible pair of x and y values within this range is equally likely. Therefore, the pair x and y represents a random point inside a unit square, where each coordinate corresponds to one of the break positions along the stick. This is our entire sample space. Now if this is x and this is y, then this will be y minus x. And also if this is 1 and this is y, then this piece will be of length 1 minus y, right? So, after breaking the stick, we have three pieces of length this, this, and this. Now here comes the magic. We know using triangle inequality that for three pieces of lengths a, b, and c to form a triangle, the sum of any two pieces must be greater than the third. So we have these three inequalities. First we have x is less than y minus x plus 1 minus y. y cancels out, and this simplifies to x is less than 1 minus x, and so x must be less than 1 half. Then, for this piece of length y minus x, that means y minus x is less than x, plus 1 minus y. Or it can be written as 1 minus y minus x. Take it here to get 2 times y minus x is less than 1, which reduces to y minus x being less than 1 half. Take x here to get y is less than x plus half. Finally, for this piece of length 1 minus y, that means 1 minus y is less than x plus y minus x which becomes 1 minus y is less than y, so y must be greater than 1 half. These are the requirements for these three pieces to together form a triangle. Okay, here comes the fun part. This is y equals half, and this is x equals half. So, this part corresponds to x less than half and greater than zero. Then this part corresponds to y greater than half but less than one. So their common intersection is this region, right? Now inside this region, we need to find the region that corresponds to y less than x plus half. This is super easy. Draw a line y equals x plus half. It will be like this whose slope is 1 and y intercept is half because it is of the form y equals mx plus c. Therefore, all the y values that correspond to less than x plus half will lie on this side of the line, right? For example, x and y are half and half in this region. So we get half less than half plus half, which is true. But for x equals 0 and y equals 1 in this region, we get 1 less than 0 plus half, which is not true. And thus our region of interest is this. Thus. The probability that three pieces form a triangle under the assumption x is less than y is given by the area of the blue triangular region, which is 1 over 8. Now, for the second case, where x is greater than y, we can use symmetry, and this will be our region of interest, whose area will again be 1 over 8. Thus, 
the total area is this plus this, or 1 over 4. Therefore, the probability that three random pieces form a triangle is 1 fourth, or 25%. And that's it. This was super duper cool. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So.